Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you. So you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Well, hello, everybody. This is Andy Smith, your host with the most 31-year veteran of the comic book industry. Yeah, that's a long time. I've worked for Marvel, DC, Image, Acclaim, Valiant, Cross Gen, many more, and now I'm doing my own thing, Astonishing Comics Presents. First man, a superhero for a new generation. No agenda, just entertainment and fun. Get your superhero on. The books are available at the link in the description below. Multiple covers to choose from, volume one and two. Check it out now. You won't be disappointed. Today's book look is the artist Simon, Simon Bisley Redux. I said Simon. Uh, a little tongue twister there. As you can see, this book is, uh, I believe, about 20 years old, 15, 20 years old. Uh, my spine is falling apart on this thing. So that kind of stinks, but what are you going to do? Uh, I tell you the exact publication date, but unfortunately, uh, it's not anywhere in here. Uh, the only dates that are in here are talking about um, published pieces from other companies. So I don't know. I want to say it's about 20 years old. Simon Bisley is, of course, a student of Frazetta. You can tell if he said he wasn't, I'd be like, come on, dude, seriously. Um, but I also see some Bill Sienkiewicz in his work. He works in uh, beautiful pen and ink, uh, full color, oils, acrylics, probably color, probably everything. I mean, he's one of those artists that you can just tell he's throwing it all into it, uh, style and technique wise. I first discovered him on Lobo through DC back in the early 90s when the biz was, uh, let's see, probably, I think Lobo was 91, so he was almost 30 years old when he did it, but then I went back and found the Slain, the Berserker graphic novels, and those blew my mind. Those he did fully painted. Uh, when I think he was only in his 20s. So, I mean, this cat is awesome. This is his rendition of Thor. This, to me, reminds me if uh, you took Frazetta, who, by the way, is the baller master boss of fantasy art painting, but took Frazetta and said, you know what? Um, we're going to give him some more steroids. And boom, you get Bisley. Here's some of his black and white character designs for a project. Uh, I often wonder, wah, 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 wonder why, 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 why. It almost looks like he painted over this, but I'm sure this was just a study in black and white and he transferred it to the board. Same with these. These look like he painted right over these black and whites, but he probably did these studies and then transferred them to the board that he was painting on. I wish it says what size they were. Um, and then a student of uh, Simon Bisley is Liam Sharp. If you look at Liam Sharp's work, you'll get a very uh, Bisley feel from it. And... Uh, Liam is also a painter, and when he paints, he has this type of vibe going on as well. And, of course, this goes back to Frazetta, and uh, after that, way after that, uh, Bills and Kevich, you can see in some of the techniques. This, Simon Coldwater, unfortunately, was never finished, so it was never published. 
I wish it was. I'd love to have seen this stuff full size. Some more cool character designs here. Uh, this is the character based on Julie Strain. I don't remember the character's name, but the book was Fak, F-A-K-K, -K, I believe. Just reading these, uh, one more, nope. Yeah, these don't say. Melting Pot, another story that uh, supposedly, at as of this writing, Melting Pot is currently being revised and expanded into a 144-page graphic novel. I don't think that ever happened. If it did, let me know in the comments. Of course, I could Google it, but I know you guys are so helpful that you'll just let me know. This one is very Sienkiewicz to me with the different techniques and everything. Where's this more uh, Frazetta-esque? I wonder if he ever got to meet Frazetta. I don't know. I've never met Simon. I've only, I, I mean, I've met him in passing at San Diego when he's at the heavy metal booth, but, you know, it's just been in passing. He wouldn't remember me. But uh, I'd have to ask him if uh, if he ever met Frazetta. Sorry, I was just looking at the art and I lost my I lost my way as I was looking at the art. It was sucking me in. Just imagine if the Crusades looked like that. It's like, hey now. See, like this stuff here, very N.C. Wyeth back up in here to me. More cool character designs in black and white. Love that stuff. Slain. I'll do a book look at some point. I got to get my Slain graphic novels out, but I will do a book look with them for you guys. Uh, you can see right here, this is some of the Slain stuff he did when he was in his early 20s. Oh, that's such a beast. It's so cool. It makes it, I mean, I mean, it's not a horse, but you know what I mean? It looks so cool. Makes you wish that he got to do a Conan job. Body count. Uh, I need to look this up to see. Uh, this says he just did covers, added the interest to a team in the title body count later and gave you a 100 page bloodbath. Uh, oh, so body count. Oh, I guess this was something he did, the pencils and inks. I'll have to try and find this. I've never read this, but uh, seeing Bisley do the turtles. I mean, the dude does it all. Cartoony stuff, real stuff. Says Lobo stuff was fantastic. His uh, He did two issues of the Authority, which were just awesome. You know, I don't have his Lobo stuff anymore either. I need to get that stuff. Again, I thought I had it in a trade, but I don't. And I don't have the single issues. Doing illustrations for the Bible. I don't know if he ever completed these. This is a problem with a book that's this old. You just don't know. Frankenstein from the Black Lagoon. This is really cool. Unpublished until now, The Very Angry Seven was a brainchild of Simon Bisley, Kevin Eastman, Eric Talbert. Uh, 24 pages of shitting dogs, reporters in laundry, a graphic murder scene, and seven muted critters that run around yelling, let's get angry. How could you go wrong? And it was never printed except for here. Oh, darn it. Fistful of blood. Uh, Bisley doing a badass western. Tell you, the guy does it all. Check her out. That's awesome. But look at this horse. That, that's a boss horse right there. Character designs for Fistful of Blood. Of course, he worked on some Judge Dredd, which is a blessing to us. Batman Dread. I would love to have seen it in black and white with a uh, regular color, but he painted the whole thing, so it's awesome. Lobo, like we said. Definitely not the Lobo I grew up with in the 80s before this series. Sick. 
such gorgeous work. If you're a Bisley fan and you don't have this book, then you're not a Bisley fan. That's right, I said it. But please, still subscribe to my channel and like it and share. If you're a Bisley fan, just go get this book. You might not have known about it. You could be a young Bisley fan. I don't know if it's still available. It's probably on eBay. I'll have to check, see what prices are. Love this drawing. I just love how big this gun is. That is, the blew his jaw through the back of his head. Once again, nice art pose to the female figure, Julie Strain, based on Julie Strain. Thumping guts. Uh, let's see, three different endings, six random trading cards, a collector post, all stuffed into a pre-marked up poly bag package entitled Project X. Huh, I don't remember this either. That looks like a X X Men character. I don't think it is though. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Whoa, turn the page. Come on now, it's family friendly. All oh, the beautiful colors he's got in here. Looks like it's acrylic and colored pencil. That looks like Kevin Eastman. Hmm. 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 Look at that barbarian. That's right. He's in this guy's like, Meh, nobody wants me. They just want the big hunky barbarian. No. Oh, no. Julie Strain, once again. This one is titled, aptly called Alley Oops. Get it? There's a cartoon character called Alley Oop, and that's Alley Oops. There's all the beautiful colors in here. The purples, the greens and blues, the flesh tone on hers, different from his. Back Two, I believe this did come out. Uh, this 80-page graphic novel delivers all the good stuff the studio wouldn't allow in the final film. So yeah, th so I'm pretty sure this was out. I think I've seen it for sale, and I just, for some reason, like a dummy, haven't bought it. But I think I will have to buy it if I can find it. Because it's pure Bisley. And then there you go. There's the man himself. Uh, once again, I don't know when this book came out, but... Uh, it's a good one, and the spine's ripping because uh, I love looking through this book. And it's not going anywhere. Sure, it's lost its value a little bit, but I don't care. Book Look, The Art of Simon Bisley Redux. Brought to you by First Man, the superhero for the new generation. Do you like humor in your superhero tales? Do you like action adventure? Well, then First Man is for you. Luke Henry gets the power of the First Man and transforms just like Billy Batson did to Shazam. Luke Henry goes from freshman college kid to seven foot tall beefcake superhero. Get his adventures now. Check the link below. Beautiful covers to choose from. First Man. It's because of you guys supporting me doing my own thing finally after 31 years that I can do these videos and other stuff. Thank you so much. Please like Subscribe to my channel for more book looks and live videos. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.
Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.